What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my minimalist everyday carry. The top three things that I would take with me on my person in most situations, and that I would definitely recommend to you guys if your everyday carry situation calls for it. Let's get into it. Minimalism is a hot topic in everyday carry these days and for good reason. First and foremost, COVID has pretty much forced many of us to stay put or to travel much lighter. On top of that, minimalism in everyday carry context has different meanings. For example, one could interpret minimalism as carrying as few pieces of kit as possible, yet having the most functionality as possible. So when you're thinking about this, you might be thinking carrying a multi-tool and that's it because it covers the most bases and has the smallest footprint. Others may interpret a minimal EDC kit as something that's functional yet has a sleek and streamlined aesthetic. That way you just have a few pieces of kit, you get your core functionality out of it, and it looks damn good. Honestly, I gravitate towards the latter only because my EDC, after I've evaluated for my purposes, it really isn't high demand. You know, I don't have a specialized set of requirements that I encounter on a daily basis. You know, I have very typical needs. I need a home for my phone, my keys, my cards, which is wallet, money, and you know, going to the grocery store, going to work, coming back, straight commuter stuff. So nothing too specialized, therefore I have a flexibility of carrying even lighter and minimal. As always on this channel, we live with purpose, so we custom tailor our EDC kit to meet our exact needs. First things first, I carry my smartphone. As a creative, most of what I do is digital, therefore my productivity and efficiency is strictly in the tech arena. Therefore, having a smartphone affords me a lot of what I need all in one place. I have access to my calendar, my email, I'm allowed to communicate with my clients with this piece of hardware. On top of that, I can do research on websites, look up design techniques. I can also use the cameras that are on board to shoot choice moments if I don't have my camera on me or if inspiration strikes. I mentioned in my last video that I got a new smartphone. This is the Samsung S20 FE 5G. The FE stands for Fan Edition. Samsung released their S20 line a few years ago and got a lot of users feedback, kept all the good features, threw out all the bad ones, and we arrived at this smartphone. Now, I was definitely rooting for Google Pixel 5 to really show up and beat out the competition, but unfortunately this year for me, it just didn't meet my standards and I realized that Google was making the Pixel 5 for a certain demographic and it wasn't me. High refresh rate for the screen, good cameras, a fast processor for editing photos, videos, and other high intensive apps. And honestly, it's a really nice form factor. I've always wanted a Samsung. My previous phone was a Google Pixel 3 and before that, the original Pixel. So believe me when I really wanted to buy the Pixel 5, but uh, this year the Samsung won out and I don't regret it at all. It's a great phone. I love it. So far, so good. All right, next up is the Secret Card Wallet. If you follow this channel, you'll know that I am in love with the Secret Card Wallet but I actually rock something else called the secret card slide. All of that is is basically this combined with a card slide compartment. It just slides off real easy and allows you more capacity. This only carries four to six cards depending on the thickness of your cards. Uh, if you carry light, you can also fold up a bill or two and slide it in there as well. It still has the core functionality of keeping all of your cards safely locked away in an aluminum shell, RFID blocking, and there's a trigger that cascades the cards out for you. So if you keep your most used card in the back, it's as simple as pulling the trigger and pulling out the last card in there. Really intuitive use and I love it. I definitely would recommend this slimmer card wallet for anyone who's looking for a super sleek and super minimal solution for your cards. Again, it's very limited in terms of what you can carry cash-wise. If you prefer carrying a lot of cash, 
this will not be for you. This is why I also got the card slide. I don't normally carry too much cash, but I carry just enough that I'm able to fold it and add it into that extended capacity that the card slide affords. Also, the trigger is super smooth. Like, it's very fidgety. Like, I could play with this all day, and it's got a very smooth action to it. It's dampened, so it's not very clunky or anything. Makes a nice sound. Oh, yeah. I love it. Every time, <laughs> every time I pull this out at the grocery store, it's a conversation starter, too, because when I go to pay, I just pull out my top card and they're like, whoa, how did all your cards pop out like that? And I'm like, let me tell you, Ron Kwok, YouTube, check it out. <laughs> okay, anyway, and that is the secret card wallet. Super minimal, super sleek. Next up is the Orbit Key Key Organizer coupled with the Gerber Shard. Now these two are basically indispensable for me because when you leave the house, you take your keys with you. And I'm not gonna be bothered to take out only the house key and carry that as a minimal carry just because that's too much work and this is already such a streamlined solution. I've already gone over at length how awesome the Orbit Key Key Organizer is. I'll go ahead and link videos in this corner right here. I just picked up the Gerber Shard and the reason why this is part of my minimal yet indispensable ADC kit is because it's really versatile. It's a mini pry bar and it has several functions in it. It's got two flathead drives, it's got a beer opener, a loop here that'll allow you to attach the shard to your keys or whatever else you might want to attach this to, whether it's your pack, your ruck, or your tech pouch. And it also has a Phillips drive here. Honestly, this thing is clutch. It's small, it's strong, it's very durable, and there's countless situations where you could find yourself using this. In shooting this video alone, I have an adapter that goes from my camera to my tripod, and I sometimes have to remove that, and it requires, uh, I've always just used a quarter to kind of stick it in and turn it. Now I use the Gerber Shard, and because I don't carry a lot of cash on me, every time I needed to change it, I would have scrounged around for a quarter. And you know damn well I'm not going to use my challenge coin. Fly the flag. But yeah, I love the small footprint of the Gerber Shard, the multitude of uses that comes with it, and the ease of use by just hooking it onto your keys and calling it a day. Every time I walk out that door, I'm carrying the Orbit Key Key Organizer and the Gerber Shard. All right, I think one, two, three, that's three. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I know I said three, but this is a bonus fourth piece of kit. This is the Spyderco Pair 3 knife. I don't always carry a knife when I go out, but every time I don't, I usually regret it because something comes up, I have to cut something or something else I need to use it for, and I just don't have it. And so, I always carry a knife with me. If you follow this channel, you'll know that I love the Spyderco Para 3. I love the action, I love the flick, it's real cool, real eccentric. I love the color palette, all gray, real clean, and the Maximet steel blade in this version of the Perry 3 is super durable, and so it's stayed razor sharp since I started using it five months ago. Honestly, a staple of my minimal EDC kit, and it matches with my phone. All right, y'all, that's it. That was a quick and minimal video on my minimal everyday carry kit. Hopefully you guys got something useful out of it, something that might help you formulate your own everyday carry, specifically custom tailored to meet your needs and purposes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just yesterday, we hit 500 subscribers. I wanna thank you guys so much for following with me on this everyday carry journey. I started with zero subscribers and it's been only a few months now and all y'all, 500 of y'all, are following me and listening to my everyday carry carry content and getting useful, purposeful things out of it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Keep on moving, guys. Stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that bell to be notified whenever I release new content on everyday carry gear and adventure. Until next time, live with purpose. Peace. All right, y'all. Minimum, minimum. I'm just pretending to use my phone <laughs> for the shots. Stop.